What's up everybody? My name is Ryan Turford and today we got another arcade block unboxing. This is for July of 2015. Now, in case you were wondering what arcade block is, maybe you're new to these videos, arcade block is basically a monthly service. Basically, you'll pay them every month. They send you a box full of video game stuff. It's pretty awesome. Now, this month um, is kind of special because they told us that it's going to be two t-shirts this month. Not one. Two t-shirts. So basically, uh, yeah, I'm excited to break this open and let's check it out. So, I got my trusty keys as per usual. So let's check out what is on the slate for this month. Now, they also said that there would be a Last of Us item, a Sonic item, and a Mega Man item. So we know we're at least getting those, as well as the two t-shirts. So let's check out what we've got. Ooh, this is actually pretty awesome. Right. So, first off, the thing that really stands out, and uh, these actually are in Arcade Block and other Nerd Block uh, varieties a lot. we got a pop vinyl figure. This is from Evolve. It's Maggie. She's the tracker. She's one of the three trackers that you can play as. Um, she's pretty cool. She has a little dog. Unfortunately, you don't get the little dog. It's just her with the machine gun, but she's still pretty cool. I, I would have preferred, like, Val or someone else, um, because I really like Val. Um, Hank is kind of cool. Markov is kind of lame. He kind of looks like Kato, except not as cool as Kato. So, either way, take Maggie. She's pretty cool. Alright, so we'll leave the t-shirts for later. And we got a Cut the Rope. Nami's micro figure. Om Nom Nom is the monster who loves candy. So it is a three pack grab bag. So let's, let's crack this open and see what's in it. Alright, so we got little little rubberized candy from Cut the Rope. As well as little dude from Cut the Rope. I don't remember his name. I didn't play Cut the Rope that much. And an antler hat. This was from the, the Christmas version of Cut the Rope. Um, that was actually one of the only versions of Cut the Rope I actually played. Um, I didn't play it a whole lot, so not even enough to know what this guy's name is. Um, but the object of Cut the Rope essentially is like, you're cutting a rope in order to try and get the little monster guy to eat these candies. So yeah, put these over here. Next to bring the next. Alright, so we're going to pull this comic out. This is Sonic Worlds Unite Battles. And if I'm not mistaken, this is actually the crossover between Mega Man and Sonic. Yeah, I'm not going to open it now. Well, yeah, I'm excited to read this. I'm actually a huge Mega Man fan. Uh, I used to like Sonic a lot. Um, I, th I still think he's a cool character, even though a lot of his games sort of fell off the rails after Sonic, C Sonic CD. But, um, yeah, cool. We'll take it. Um, we have an album, DJ Organic Mega Ran Coin Up Crush. So it's a Mega Ran album. Um, I haven't really listened to too much of his stuff. Um, 16 tracks. They, this is actually not the first time Arcade Block has done an exclusive album. A little, um, I think it was last month or the month before they did a Video Games Live um, exclusive as well, which was pretty cool too. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I haven't heard too much of Mega Ran stuff, and people always talk about how he's really good, so check it out. So now, I think we have these. These are classic console cartridge coasters. They're basically coasters that are based off what looks to be imitations of NES games. I love NES games, so I'm going to bust these open right now. And we're we're going to check some of these coasters out to see if they're pretty cool. I mean, on the front... We've got a, uh, a Mario Brothers one. It's got the, the Japanese writing on the top. We got Contra. That's pretty cool. Duck Story. So, not DuckTales, Duck Story. It's a story about ducks. And finally, Excite BMX, because, let's face it, they couldn't get the rights for Excite Bike. Excite Bike is pretty cool. So, yeah. These are, these are pretty cool coasters. I might actually use these. And finally, we have t-shirts. So let's start off with the first one. I believe this is the, the shirt punch one. This is... Hmm. 
So you guys can take a look at this here. It says board on it with a smiley face. Um, I don't really know what this is in reference to. I don't think it's in reference to anything. Um, it's an interesting design. I don't know how. I'm not a huge fan of it, but uh, it seems like the the chirp. Any time they do the chirp punch ones, they're always completely random. Um, the last time I got one, it was a Smash Brothers themed one, which I was actually pretty excited about because I love Smash Brothers. Um, this one doesn't even seem video game related. I mean, yeah, I don't know, kind of weird, but that's okay. I'll take it. I like shirts, so last but not least though, we got our arcade block video game theme shirt for the month. This is from The Last of Us. I'm going to put this over here. So we got a clicker from The Last of Us. It's a caution sign with, with the face of a clicker. I actually really like this shirt because I love The Last of Us. So I'm excited to, to throw this bad boy on. I'll probably wear it on next month's video. And other than that, the box is empty except for the postcards that they always send. That explains what all these cool items are um, in the box. The um, Evolve Funko Pop was the product of the month, as so because it's definitely the, the highest quality thing in here. So uh, that's going to do it for this month's unboxing of Arcade Block. So what do you guys think about this month's block? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, of course, like, subscribe, share with your friends. You can find me on Twitter at Ryan Turford. You can also find me on YouTube at YouTube.com slash Ryan Turford, as well as Twitch.tv slash Ryan Turford. Also, check out our Game Moose podcast. We record every single week. Um, you can find it over at www.talkmoose.com, as well as on our Facebook group, Facebook.com slash Game Moose Podcast. Uh, that's going to do it for this, me this month. So, until next month, have fun.